guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamie and today I'm bringing you a new furniture flip DIY. So I've been searching around for different china hutches just because I wanted to try it. I found some really cool inspiration ideas over on Pinterest and wanted to see what I could do with a china hutch. I found this particular one on Facebook Marketplace for about $30. So I thought that was a really good deal, especially for a project that I was like trying something. Um, Sometimes when I do projects, I definitely kind of figure it out as I go. I had a couple of ideas of what I wanted to do in the back of my mind. Um, and I just started with painting first and then it kind of built from there. And I will explain that as you watch the video. I also wanna mention that I'm not only gonna be doing furniture flips on here. If you have been with my channel for a while, you notice I've done DIYs in the past. I've had some different kind of content. Um, and I'm just kind of re-figuring out my channel as I'm like kind of getting back into it. I have been gone for a while, um, but I just wanted to share that it's not just gonna be furniture flips. I am gonna share bigger DIYs throughout the home. Um, I've done a lot over on Instagram, so you can definitely go check that out if you wanna see what I've been up to. But one of my next projects is going to be um, a DIY sort of renovation on the beginner side renovation of our downstairs bathroom. So definitely keep a lookout for that video. All right, so here is the top of the china cabinet. I'll show you the bottom. So I was going to pull out, basically I was pulling out the glass from behind this so that I could spray paint it. And then I realized the grate actually comes out. So now I'm like, okay, do I keep the little grid part or do I get rid of it? So what I'm doing is going ahead and painting it like I was planning on doing. And then I'm gonna do everything. And then if I wanna add the grate back in later and kind of see, um, I can or, you know, and or leave it out. So I'm painting it this like, this is the hardware that I got for it. It's a champagne gold and I got a champagne gold spray paint to go with it or to match. So just gonna spray paint these, clean this guy up, sand it down um, to get ready for paint. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything that I. Expected love was found. You're the rose in a garden. But next, I'm going to attempt to pull off this top piece so that I can replace it because it's disgusting looking. And I'm just going to replace the light with a um, one of those like puck lights, but like the long version. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next. That I love you. had a really disgusting piece of wood that was like barely hanging on so I replaced it it was just stapled I just went in with my brad nailer and um, because it's going into wood and went into the pieces where the staples used to be and replaced that piece of wood so that's a little bit more sturdy I'm not worried about painting that but this is what I got so far I think I'm gonna get a little feet for it I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna order them if I put them on. I don't know, cause it's just really, this one, it's kind of low. Um, this one needs another coat, but I plan on sanding in the middle of the coats. So we'll see. Anyways, I wanna put it up on top of here so that Grayson can't reach it. So that I can work on it while he's here. 
because it was really hard to work on this one. So by this point, I have decided to use a wood backdrop in the back of the cabinet. So here I'm cutting um, all of my one by fours to size, and then I'm going to be using my router on my router table to making the to make the edges a little bit curved to give them a little bit more depth. So for the wood in the back of the cabinet, I am using a wood conditioner first. This just ensures that your stain goes on nice and evenly and you don't get any weird splotches. Then I put my stain on after, I think it's within 30 minutes you have to put your stain on. I will list what color I used down below. And then a sealer is really optional, I didn't do it in this project. I had a feeling you'd come this is where you can see how the router added some depth to the wood so that it didn't just all blend together. And I also wanted to show you really quick before I added the wood, I replaced the glass on the sides with these 5mm plywood board pieces and I wood glued them in and I'm just using the little brackets to hold it in while the glue dries and then I took the little bracket things off. And then in the back, this is where you can see how I attached the wood in the back to the cabinet, if that makes sense. Here I'm going to be gluing the glass down instead because I decided against using those great pieces that I showed you in the beginning, which the little these little brackets are too loose, so I'm going to take them off and glue the glass down. And instead of getting a third piece of glass cut, I decided to use some chicken wire and I painted it black and then put it in the middle section. And I actually really like how this turned out. It gives it a little bit more character. I did end up throwing away all the glass shelves as well. They just were too flimsy and I replaced them with that same 5mm plywood. I'm sorry for all those promises I made you that I couldn't keep. But it's like I absolutely love the way that this turned out. It turned out way better than I thought it was going to. Um, and like I said, it just kind of morphed into this different design. I had two different ideas, and this is what we ended up with. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe by clicking that button down below for future videos to come. See you next time.